But let's get on what we've been talking about for the past two weeks, where you've been coming out here with all this slander, everything else, man. Like you, you won't pick a side. You're you're acting like the the hip hop Switzerland over here. Well, they both do. Nah, man. We about to talk about the Drake and the Kanye, and we're gonna get down into it. All right, man. So, I mean, where you want to start with the drama beforehand, you know, dropping on the same day? We got to start from the beginning. Let's forth. go ahead. Yeah, the, the yeah drama, let's start with the, the early intrigue. drama. Let's get people caught up and then we'll go into each album as they release. So Kanye will be up first and then we'll go into the Drake. Yeah. So, you know, the the, the threats, the who's going to drop first, us in the middle of it as fans. Like, yo, just just somebody drop it. You know, the multiple stadium tours, however you feel about it. Uh, we've talked about it here to where we were like, all right, cool. We we see it's different. We like the presentation as far as Kanye. But at the end of the day, I just want the finished product. You know what I mean? That That's all, all I really wanted at the end of the day. So we got the music last week. But then there was a lot of shit that came with that on Kanye's side. You know, Chris Brown was cussing him out. They've, they've now made up apparently on social media. Soldier Boy still going in. And it's a bunch of other people that didn't quite make the album <laughs> the way, yeah. you know, the way they thought they were going to make the album. Then, you know, we had pe- the people talking about it being a marketing ploy and, and all these different type of things. And, and Kanye it's, it's manager. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Kanye it's, manager. It's definitely a marketing ploy. Look yeah, at the way he released it. it and the way he was going out there. He made millions just off of the release parties at these stadiums each and every time. Yeah. Think about how much money he was making everybody coming out there. And, uh, <laughs> I think that was the reason for the delays. It was just like, oh, we made this much money. Let's see how much money we can make at the next one. For sure. For sure. Like, we, let's say we clean this up and then now we'll get somebody else. Like we got more money. Let's see if we can get how much is going to, how much money can I throw at Jay-Z before he say, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Never, <laughs> never, never going to knock, never going to knock him for that. Uh, nah. Was it, was it the most interesting thing for me? Would I have gone? Absolutely. I would have gone if I was nearby. Absolutely. You know nah, what I mean? No. Because that's that's one of that's something different. That's something different. I would have wanted to see it, you know, especially if the album was coming out soon. But knowing Kanye, like we know Kanye, it you know, it took three three chances. I would to get be nervous that I'm gonna like get out there, like I paid my money and we'll get the show I picked to go, we'll get the Kanye rant instead of the music. And that would just piss me off even more. So fair enough, that, that would have held me back from personally from going just the fear of that. I, I have the capability of getting that. I'm only going to go to a Kanye concert where if they have a watch the throne again, if they have a watch the throne again, I go, somebody got to keep him on task. I'm not going <laughs> to go to where Kanye is the whole show. Nah, nah, the you show. just showed me. <laughs> yep. Then we also have uh, Kanye's manager who kind of put it out there that, you know, as long as there's no disses from Certified Lover Boy, there won't be no disses over here. Everything is all good. And then Certified Lover Boy drop. <laughs> very direct. Except- very direct. Um, talking to Kanye. And then. The leak no verse. names were said. No the names leak ver- said. The leak verse came too as well with, with Andre 3000. Wow. Oh, oh, so you trying to say that was Drake? I don't know who it was. I, I'm not there. You know what I mean? But no, I'm saying no, no accusations, man. Accusations. That's, that's what's out there. I'm, I'm, that's what's out there in the streets. I, I don't know. It, nevertheless, it's out there. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, Ye pulled back. I, I'm not sure I, why. Why in the world do you think he pulled back off that? Why wouldn't you have three stacks on your album? I, w- I wouldn't even. I would have just wrote another verse. Honestly, like that, that was one of the better verses. That would have probably been one of the verses of the year had he laid that down. And then why, like my thing is like, why would you put a diss song on a a song about, you know, talking about your moms, like the the content that three stacks was talking about and what Ye was talking about wasn't the same thing. So it kind of was, you know, and three stacks put out a statement too as well. So that's why I could kind of understand where Drake be coming from with the, the weird shit that goes on in Kanye's camp, because that's, that's just, that's awkward, man. It was just, it's just an awkward thing. Even though the song fire, the song fire, like you gotta, you gotta at least admit that three stacks versus fire. The production is fire. Go ahead. Oh my God. See, 
Here we go. Here we go. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to it because he's already sticking so to it. Now narrative. the Kanye he's sticking, comes out. He's sticking so, to the narrative. So we'd have made it to it. You stick, we'd have made, yeah, we it, made to it. it to it. Because you sticking, you going to the narrative right already. He won't even give so, Kanye his credit for I, a dope I'm going to give the rap Bono his credit. The dude know how to set a momentous stage and, you know, epic sound. That, that production of it was great. I'm going to give, give it to us. How you feel about how you Paul feel about McCartney's. It? You know, the way he can get all these people together and get a, 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 make a unique little sound and push it out. That's good. But uh, is that a diss though? At the, I, I'm not listening to neither one of them type of music. They do shit. They do shit that wins billboards, awards, and all that little stuff. But does that shit sound good to me? Hell no. What specifically, you can tell, uh, what specifically you can tell, didn't sound good to you? What didn't sound good to uh, you? his new gospel Kurt Franklin sound like every song is God intertwined into everything and like which I, I get what you're gonna come at like oh now you're being the heat and da 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 I ain't no, saying nothing I'm just saying I'm just saying there's ways about doing it but he seems like the way he interjected into everything it just didn't make sense to me God gonna post my bell tonight like bro you sound like a crazy fucking person <laughs> 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 like, 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 <laughs> it just don't sound like J verse sounded good on that. But if you if I'm listening and paying attention to what Kanye's saying, I'm like this shit's stupid. It's a it's a few it's a few instances <laughs> on this album the way I was like I can, I can't repeat this shit. Like I can't even. It's no singing response from me because he's like hey with an extra Y. Like I'm like what? Like that's I forgot what song that was song, but like that was like. Some, it was terrible. It was almost like that. Uh, damn, it was a song that Drake was talking about on the shop when he was on the shop a couple months ago or last year where he was talking about. It was some song that Ye was looking to put him on. But it's just one of them weird, them weird songs to where it's like, Ye, this, the old Ye would have never put this on an yeah. album. It would have never put this on an album. And there is several instances on this album to where it's like, all right, man, you know, I'm, I'm off it. I'm off it, but overall, overall, <laughs> I like the shit. Overall, I like the shit. So, you know, it's it's yay being yay, man. Like I'm I'm I wasn't mad about the gospel part. I wasn't I wasn't mad about any of that because at the end of the day, here's my thing. It did, to, some of the it, stuff just didn't intertwine to me. It just didn't make but sense. Here's my with, thing. With here's my thing with the people God rapping about, and then you then you want to go interject. God or something else like like spiritual into it. I'm like, you got the wrong people on the track. Uh, like if you try to do that, this Everybody gonna sound. Was talking about that though, like for the most part, I say about 85 percent of the verses on there, the people were talking about it in their own way, and that's that's where I like that. You know what I mean? Because everybody don't praise God the same way. Don't you? It just everybody doesn't talk to him. So don't have the same Bible relationships. Cash? So so you we getting there. You admitting it? I don't they, feel they like it's a gospel like a spiritual, album in a spiritual sense. I don't feel like it's a gospel, it's a gospel album. album. It's a gospel album. I don't, I don't feel like it's a gospel album. That's not. Yeah. This is not a gospel album this, at all. Kurt Franklin about to copy this, and it's gonna be out as a new gospel album. <laughs> he about to copy the same style, and it's gonna be pushed nah, out. Nah, I just think I just think it's the type. Of, I just think it's the type of album to where people from all walks of life, if they're a believer in God, it's not traditional. And it's different. You know what I mean? It's creating something different. The same way I feel like when I was listening to 808s and Heartbreak back in the day, that shifted the sound dramatically. Was T-Pain already doing that? Absolutely. But Ye came in and upped the ante, in, in my opinion, with the help of Kid Cudi. Now, I don't want to leave Kid Cudi out of this. I'm about to say, I like, I, I Ye didn't do too much on that. Ye just provided the vocals. That was in the production, sound. In, in the production that you glossed over earlier. I heard the Paul McCartney what shit. Up? I heard, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. I, I, I just let it live. You know, it glossed over. But what I'm saying is I wasn't so accepting of that at the time when other people were. You know what I mean? I wasn't accepting of it because I was used to, you know, Ye doing his, you know, hip hop, boom, bap, soul sample. And he may step out and do the electronic thing every now and then. But I was definitely wasn't expecting that. So I liken that to this Donda. You know what I mean? He's going in one direction for the most part throughout the whole project. And it doesn't sound like anything that's out there rat wise. It doesn't. 
and you gotta you gotta give that up. Like you know what I'm saying? If you if you like it, it does sound like something like this. This whole record Ooh. sounds just like that Kurt Franklin "We Win" track. It sounds like I got 800 of those on this album. <laughs> so uh, it, it is a sound out there for it, and it's gospel. It's this new age gospel that Kurt Franklin been doing for the past 25 years. That's what this sounds like to me. Now the production is a tad bit higher. That part I'm giving you, but like the, the same list, the, the hymns and everything, like all that is just Kurt Franklin re remixed on here. Bam. Ain't shit about this Kurt Franklin. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing about this album, Kurt Franklin. Go listen like, to We can, Win and go you, listen to any one of these damn songs. Okay, like it got, it right it got the same sounds. Now, 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 when you talk about the same sounds, we could talk about that in hip-hop all the time. You listen to no, the same... No, we, no, you, yes, no, you no, no, you no, no, no. You try, you're trying guy. to change the... La no. You're trying to change it. If you, you listen said, to the same type of shit... No, 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 no. no the same no, type that's of sounds in hip-hop. The same type of sounds in hip-hop. Hold up, hold up. I'm walking you back. Your statement, your statement, your statement was... Your statement was... That he's doing something totally different, and this is not being heard of. I didn't and say totally just, different. I said he's doing something different. He's doing it more on a hip hop sense. This this is a whole. This is raps. This is you got West Side Gun on here. You got the locks on here. You got Jay Z. You got the baby. You don't have that on a, a gospel album. You don't have that on another gospel album. What gospel album got all these guys on there? What well, not all these people? Because he's using his he using his uh. His 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 fame to get all this, like his notoriety to grab all these guys in. Yeah, he's he's dragging them in. Like that's Yay's fame. They know they're gonna get that, bro. Like <laughs> this album immediately sold because he got what what somebody who somebody said like this is the hot fastest selling album or listened to album since like an Eminem album. I was like, yes, he has those same fans. He has crossed over into that with his uh, fashion. Mixed in with who he was married to, mixed into the way his music has changed up over the years, where it hasn't been completely hip hop in that sense. It's been more of touching in those other realms or genres of music. Where we, what was the one that that was just like a whole little rock influence? Jesus, yeah, on. Jesus, Jesus, and a lot of a lot of people so been he's, like he's, that. He's been he's been dragging in these the 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 the, the listeners, the new listeners and the weird listeners that we wouldn't necessarily put in a hip hop box for a while. And this is just the culmination of it all. And and that's my thing about some of the hip hop affectionados and, and people that, 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 that stick to this hip hop thing so much, because at, at the end of the day, isn't the goal to become like one of the biggest selling artists. Like we are already one of the biggest selling genres. So why when somebody becomes popular and transcends music altogether. Now we got to be like, oh, that's not hip hop enough. Let, let me put it back in this box. When you want hip hop to expand and and go to be be the best thing, you know that we listen to. You know what I'm saying? Which is the biggest genre, right? But then when it expands in Ye's sense, it, there's a there's a problem with it. Now if the music's bad, I absolutely I'm I'm I'm, I'm giving See, it to you. I'm giving it but to you. If the music's it, I, bad. I, I know why people would get upset, and this is why I would get upset. It's because the music industry is such copycat. So I don't want to go through the next two years of getting somebody of this being the way hip hop is heading into. Like this right here, nah. I'm 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 fine with a one off from Kanye, but I don't want this to become the trend of hip hop. It's okay. It's not great. And nobody's gonna be able to do it like Kanye on the production side. Oh, and, and I absolutely agree. Now let's let's before we lose everybody with our, our crazy opinions and, and tangents, <laughs> let's 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 stick to let's stick to the album as far as Ye. And of course, we're gonna get to to Chris Breezy. I mean Chris Breezy. We already got to that. Uh, Chris Breezy cussing him out. But of course, we're gonna get to Certified Lover Boy and, and the comparisons and the songs and the distance. We're gonna dig a little deeper into that. So, like overall. How, how do you feel about the project? What what don't you like? What do you like? And, and why? Uh, like, like I was saying, like getting into every song and he just trying to intertwine with the artists and stuff like this, the different arts that he had on there, uh, just overindulgence of 
the gospel, you know what I mean? Throwing God in there and it just didn't fit sometimes in the song, but he would just sneak it in like up in there. I'm like, bro, like you, you, you're trying to force something. It's just like, that ain't going to work. Like I get where you're at in your space, but then if you're going to do that, don't have this artist on the track. Cause it's not making sense to me. They do the inspirational street songs where they say they talk about their struggles and stuff, but that's not the same as the way Ye is portraying the song. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. But what like what song? What songs in particular? You know, to where you was just like this this like I know you mentioned jail. God gonna post my bail tonight. I know you mentioned that <laughs> song. So, but what are like some uh, of the Jesus other Lord. instances? In? Jesus Lord, the both of them. With okay. the locks, and I mean, you got uh, Jay Electronica, who oh wow, damn oh. near you listen, you no, you listen to his other albums. It's all Muslim stuff. So like, when you got Jesus Lord coming in the background, it kind of just throws me off. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a we minute, got, wait we a got hip hop, we got hip hop Farrakhan on the track with and Jesus Lord. Just it just throws me off. Man. <laughs> but you wait a minute. So you wait a minute. So you like that whole Jay Electronica in. In a Jay Z project though, that came out last year, right? Yeah, that was heavily spiritual. The entire project was spiritual, and you not Muslim. You don't you don't subscribe to to it to that religion. Like, no, no, right? No, but you enjoyed it. Yeah, they were talking about God the entire time. Man, but then he had the other stuff intertwined in between. What he was stuff? Really that, that was strictly huh? him and Jay going off on a tangent. What? Yes. Every every verse, they intertwine a bit of spirituality in there, man. Like, every single verse on there, and you can't tell me you didn't all hear I see that. Is bars. Come, come on, bro. Come on. You just like Not you just every- like the rapping. You just like the rapping more yeah. on it. That that's it because it's the same type of spiritual <laughs> journey that we both went on on this Yeezy album, this Donna joint. It's the same thing, totally different. It was just but done that go one that go that go one part uh, up in there. Then he had the uh, what song was that? I felt like he had two songs. I felt like man, the pop was alive. Man, he would have killed these songs right here. Uh, off the grid. Off the grid was fire out the yeah. grid was fire and I, I still i must this is not a hot take but i, I i'm really feeling like that that five-year-old foreign kid he he was he he left earth on that verse like it was just properly placed breakdowns that beat was fit for him you know what i'm saying and then Ye even came through and got off on that but I just felt like the whole time I'm like, man, this beat is dying for like a pop verse. He didn't he have pop on his on his project? No, nah, pop was on I his project. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. He he yeah, was yeah, on pop Pusha. project with with uh, with Pusha. Yeah. When Pusha called out Tyler, the creator. Uh, what television? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a good but, one. But yeah, man. Um, but as far as Jonah too, I think Jonah was another one. I think I think I'm thinking right. Yeah, Jonah. Jonah was the one that was like another one that was like, man, like either one of these, man, if you had like a pop verse, but Hey man, gone too soon. So your man, Cuddy uh, though is on here. How you feel about that moon? I know you uh, like, like yay. I know you like the other yay and Cuddy project that came out a couple. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm be honest. Like this one, it was too slow, too slow down too like, it, it just, it didn't, didn't grasp me. It didn't, it didn't get me. And you know that's so. Now you're gonna get to a part that I'm like, let's let's talk about something else. I was upset about on this album. Uh, you see how he's sticking to the I narrative, listen, people, right? I listen the to title, right? Real. I listen on title. I listen on title. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so on on, I don't know how it is on Spotify and everything, but on title, it just got Kanye West as the artist on every song. It don't tell me who else was featured with him, like the standard on everything else, right? I know you're going to say, oh, you could dig in the credits and find that out. I don't want to do that. So the way I listen to an album right off the jump, sometimes you'd have heard some things, but like if I, I listen to it just like I would back in the day when you used to go up there, you could sample a CD and listen to see if you want to buy it or whatever, right? When when I first hear something, I want to see, okay, he got this artist on here. I like the name of this song. I want to jump to that one and go to it right off the back, right? <clears throat> I couldn't do that on this album because 
he had all the artists hidden. It was just like all Kanye West. And that kind of took me back. I was like, man, this is straight Kanye. No, no features on here. I, then immediately, you know that, that there's features on there. Uh, but <laughs> they're all hidden. You got to actually listen at the whole album. And that kind of pissed me off because I was like certain songs I want to get to right off the jump. So I figured I would have jumped straight to the J Electronica and the Kid Cudi and the Young Thug. <laughs> Those would have been my first three. <laughs> What a fucking novel idea to make you listen to an entire album. That's crazy, right? Like when you think about it. I'm gonna it, that, listen at the whole so album. Crazy, I'm saying from the jump. That is so crazy the that they want you to listen to the album the way they intended for you to listen to it. No, no fanfare, no hoopla. Don't be, don't be not worried about that. the features. Why he gotta change Just it up? Sit game. down, Why play he gotta the go songs, the rock out. Not listen to it on shuffle. Listen to it in the sequence it's intended to listen to. I will crazy. listen to it when that's it, a crazy. That's crazy. Right? That's that crazy. I gotta be boxed in. I can't think outside. I can't go approach something my way. I gotta approach it Kanye's way. That's crazy. Every every well, album is sequence just, a certain type of way for you to listen to it that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you may not get a transition. The transition may be super smooth, but you'll never catch it because you're listening to it on shuffle. I know what I see on here, and I see an artist. I'm like, this, this, this is supposed to be fine. And then if I go listen at that, and it's fine, I'm like, oh yeah, this album about to go. Then I go back and listen at the album. But then oppressed Kanye. How's that, how's that different? Kanye has a history for. Okay, some people he don't give a lot of credit to as far as payments, and there's some shady history in the background. Mm -hmm. But Sorry. if you make the album, if you make the <laughs> if you make the album, you are typically in these credits. Which I looked in the credits. In, I saw them and then yo it's the power of Google bro I Google 10 seconds bro, hey, everybody that on. was on the album cash, cash. I, I, I'm not googling every damn thing I want to I, I woke well, up that you, morning you I didn't even think to, to do it you didn't even think to do it that's the problem <laughs> didn't, you didn't even, you didn't even didn't think want, to do it you, you why so do I have to do it for any other art? because you are hip hop head go find this yeah. shit go dig in the crates do a little dig get your hands dirty I'm thinking for the casual listeners they ain't got time you ain't casual. That. We not casual oh, okay. here. This is prayers and cash talking. This is not casual prayers and casual cash. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give the people the credit. Quit doing stuff outside the norm. You just put the names up there and let me enjoy the music how I want to enjoy the music. Real talk, though. Real talk, though, uh, um, on Don the Man, like, I was highly impressed out, out the gate, man. Uh, this, this, this album was very different for me in terms I went into it with a, with an open mind. Cause I hadn't listened to like people send me clips and stuff like that of going around the stadium and whatnot, but take, take I got the a stage. little playlist take the here. Stage. Go ahead. Take the stage and you go ahead and you tell the people what you liked about it and uh, go ahead. Yeah. I like, I like the jail song outside of the, the weak hook, but I like the beat and I also like Jay's verse. I like Jay's verse as well off the grid. We already talked about that remote control with Young Thug on there. That's one of my jams. I know you like Young Thug as well. Uh, Pure Souls with Roddy Rich. He was riding that beat pretty well. I like the overall song structure of that. Jesus Lord Part 2. Believe What I Say, Keep My Spirit Alive with West Side Gun. Uh, Lord, I Need You. Like So I can go on and on. Moon, those are just some of the ones that, that stick out to me off of an hour and, what, 58 minutes, 45 minutes. Project. So those are just some of the, the joints that stick out to me. And I've, I've gone back to this project quite often, not not just because we were going to talk about it, just because I actually I actually like it. You know what I mean? And, and hopefully, you know, there's more than enough for me to take off there with this shit being 20 something tracks for me to like the rest. I don't have to ever listen to again. Like and there's some, duds on here. there's some duds on here. There's some duds on here. Like what's the one with uh, Young Thug? Uh, remote control. That one. Uh, off the grid, Jesus Lord, part one and part two. And then I'm, I'm reserving my judgment on jail because Jay said a line up there and he got us thinking because he said this the resurgence of what uh, Watch the Throne. So now if we don't get a Watch the Throne, then this verse sucks to me. Now, but if it, but he also <laughs> two years down the road, we get a press. He also dissed <laughs> us too. He also dissed us because he was like, he was talking about think pieces. So as we was coming into this, I was like, shit, this might be considered a think piece. But <laughs> damn it, Jay. <laughs> he put me in a bond here. He put me in a bond mm -hmm. with talking about it. But he was, he was going off. But uh, I also like Jail too because baby, baby smoked that shit. He, he smoked that shit. I, I ain't even gonna lie. 
So that, those Jail. are some of my favorite joints off yeah. off of Donda, man. So like I said, the the, the Jay Z verse was good. The whole thing on the background just kept throwing me off, just like Chicago post my bell, like oh man. Like, you remember <laughs> it though, right? What he did, I remember what? it just as you, you would <laughs> if a crazy person jumped up and said something stupid, you'd be like, bro, like, let me tell you what this this dumb ass is. It's, I'm not, I'm not, I, can't, I, I can't argue it's a good hook. I, I, I can't argue with you on that. I can't argue with I you can, on that, man. I can argue it. I, I can just tell you, yeah, anytime I do something, you're going to see some meme or something like that coming across and from there, like years later, like, don't worry about it. God got my bill. Like you, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. There's gonna be somebody getting oh, arrested. Yeah, that's that's already that's happen. already that's already a caption somewhere. It, it's gonna happen. But speaking of captions, let's let's go to Certified Lover Boy because this man Drake has more than enough captions out here to last a lifetime on this project. So so where do you want to start on Certified Lover Boy, man? Because you had nothing but high praise for it, people. I'm I'm, I'm before you even say something, prayers, people. <laughs> Prez has put Drake in his top three off of this yeah. project. I don't know where, I don't know whether he was getting excited over us arguing about Donda and him only listening to it one time prior to, you know, urging him to listen again. And, you know, we podcast and, and he has to be educated on spewing hatred. You know <laughs> what I mean? But then he went as far as to say Drake was in his top three. And ladies and gentlemen, I have never ever heard this man say Drake was in his top three. Explain yourself, Press. Explain yourself how you feel about Certified Lover Boy. How is he in your top three? You got to tell the people. How does he jump that, right. that far? Right. So cert- Certified Lover Boy, the, the way you're going to have to come at this, man, was just like uh, Drake has been holding the game hostage all year long. All year long. We, we've been saying like he's been teasing that it's going to drop. Uh, uh, I was hoping that he would go up to bat, you know, before the J. Cole or right afterwards, give us some good music to come back. Uh, I'm glad that he did go up against one of the heavyweights, somebody that he has a long-standing little disagreement with, where they had some little heat between their camps. Uh, it makes it that much more exciting, even though I, I feel like they kind of throwing us for a loop, a la like we read about the 50 Cent and and Kanye, you know, both of them going neck to neck with just the boost sales all up. So who knows what's, what's, re- what's really going on, but... <clears throat> Uh, I, I I enjoyed the moment and that that nonsense around it, uh, <laughs> and I feel like Drake came out with a more universally praised or or liked album that don't don't have to be the gospel. Well, Kanye has his fans. He he's gonna have his little stands and everything to go over there. But I'm saying like as far as music, I'm gonna take out of here the most. I feel like it's Certified Lover Boy on here, and yeah, Drake does a lot of singing. But in my eye, it, none of it was bad. You know what I mean? And he gave us enough rapping on here in several songs and uh, 7 a.m. where he just went in. Like, I felt like mm, I'll, I'll give you a little bit more leeway on it because you, you got to satisfy both sides of his fan base. I know what we want and what we will we really appreciate. But at the same time, he has to give to that female audience is going to go out and support a lot more than we do half the damn time. And that is evident of why we got so many underground rappers who can really rap, but we don't support like that. And that's just the honest God truth. And if you're going to listen at, uh, and the reason Drake moved up is because I went back and, you know, some of the stuff that you held back back in the day on some of Drake's and he's just like, uh, you wasn't really a priest to you like, man, he's doing too much singing. It's changing up the game, but it is where it is right now. And if you go back and listen to his catalog, you get a much more appreciation and just the constant effort and top notch, uh, uh, work that he even put out over those times. It's just time to acknowledge, man. Uh, he He's one of those dudes that's consistently like, I, I don't, what's, what's a bad project that he did? What's a bad project? I, I don't know none. Yeah. So, he, he doesn't have one where everybody was trashing it at all. Like yeah, yeah. he doesn't have a bad project. Uh, people argue about whether he has a classic or how many classic he has. And, and I'll let people argue that to the high heavens. I won't get into that for, for, um, you know, lack of time, you know what I mean? But, but what I will say is I put this joint on equally as impressed, equally as impressed. I think that he actually did half and half. This is probably more, one of his more balanced singing, rapping 
type of albums because even when he was singing, like he had the audacity to not even rap with Jay. He just <laughs> sung the entire song, you know, harmonized yeah. the entire song, let Jay get off. And then that just, to me, that shows the artist that's super comfortable in their skin. Where they, at? where they at? Because how many people prayers are going to try to bar your head off if they're rapping with Jay, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of people that's just going to try to get their rap off and just say, I rap with Jay. But with him being here so long and having several records with Jay, he just went to make the best record, not necessarily F it up with rapping. And I think you could say the same for the rest of this project. You know what I mean? The only knock I will give to this project is, you know, some, some of the, the people that, that are on here and the same thing with Ye and I ain't get to say it. I want to start hearing them with a little bit different cast of characters. No, you know, no. I the, need, we only got two of future. I think I could have used three more on here. <laughs> future. I, yo, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of too sexy, bro. I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of too sexy. The same what way. Into deep. Nah, I like into deep. I like into deep, but <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? But like the, you know, the, the, too sexy man like i like the video and, and that's the thing with drake man like if you don't like it on one front for the song at face value he's gonna do something totally left feel and not afraid to make fun of himself and 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 be the butt of the joke in order to sell a record so now you have Kawhi leonard in the video and now i'm like oh this ain't so bad i, I see where this can go <laughs> in the video or if it, in the club you know we I'm not yeah. outside like that as far as going to the club, but I know when this song comes on in the club is going to go bananas. You know how, it, you know how it is with these, yeah. these cats out here. And, and, and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like Drake isn't going to make the type of music Kanye makes, but you can count on him to do exactly what he did each and every time is to just make music for that mood, wherever, wherever you at, he has a song for it. He got an introspective part of the album. He got the sing songy shit. If you if you a lady or, or male going through some similar shit, he got shit for the clubs. He got rapidy rap. He got bars on it. Well rounded album. That's that's all I could ask for. And and I think he did that, man. Like songs like Knife Talk. He brought Project Pat. Yeah. And um Twenty One oh, Savage. Cool. Who who don't get enough yeah. credit for how he shows up on records. Time in like he's Twenty One Savage smoked J Cole shit as well. I'm not sure. I don't think he on he made Kanye's album. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I remember hearing Twenty One Savage on it. I don't think I don't think Twenty One Savage is gonna hold any punches and you know let him. It, it'll be completely edited. He edited a couple of those verses, but I could just imagine him trying to edit Twenty One. <laughs> it'd be it'd be difficult, you know. And it don't be nothing super super, you know, introspective with like Twenty One just. I don't know. He's just different, man. Like in terms of just his presence on a song is just, you, you feel it. And he always say some shit that's super basic, but hilarious at the same time. You know what I mean? And project pack killed that, um, like songs like fair trade, you know, who would have thought like, he'd just go drag project pack. Like, back out of nowhere. In, you know like, what I mean? Out of nowhere, man. Like, and, and it, was, it was right. I Appreciate wish project pack had more time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I think he had a cool six, eight bars, if that. And I was like, damn, man, y'all could have gave Project a full 16, man, because he came in and, and killed it. But, and then uh, 21, like, I actually, I think Drake had the worst part of the song because 21 was at home with that flow. Project Pat started it off, and they kind of, to me, catered at the Project Pat's flow. But Drake's the only one that didn't do a good job on it. Overall, I like the song, but... You know, that's just me. That's just me being being uh, you know, crazy with it. But I did want to talk about our guys. I like two the track of our FSU. Favorite. I like the FSU too. I don't it's have a bit more singy. Uh, if he raps a little bit at the beginning, then he goes off to his little singy zone. Yeah, yeah. But like, I I I I, I like that song. Y'all yeah, also like uh, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, man. Oh yeah, that Lil Wayne. That that beat. <clears throat> That beat was fire. Bink, Bink, again. We we, mm -hmm. we was just talking about Bink, man. We was just talking about Bink a couple pods ago on possibly doing a joint album with Jada, you know, with a solo, you know, one solo off, one off or whatever. And then here come Bink showing up and arguably to me has 
this is my my base. This is my type of um, production, my type of raps. I like it. Rick Ross went off, but uh, I want to have a little bit of appreciation for Lil Wayne here. Man, you ain't gonna get that shit from me. You don't like this Lil Wayne verse. <laughs> I like the Wayne verse, but I I can't go retract on my words. Yes, you can. It's this, a, that's the part it's about a, growth. I'm it's okay to be Wayne. wrong. It's so it's okay Wayne. to change. Wayne been <laughs> low key been ripping a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what's it's one. I heard cat. they was talking about the West Side Guns last week. I went back and listened to yes. that track. Was, he killed that too. He get he, he had two crazy verses, and I I forget. There's another young man that came out with an album that I heard Wayne spit on that. I was like, yo, Wayne went off on this too. It's, it's one of the more popular young cats that came the out. The Dame Dollar? No. D- is he on Dame Dollar's album? He on Dame Dollar too. I don't remember that verse, but did he kill it on there? Is he on You there? asking me. You asking me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm done with Wayne, bro. How you done with Wayne? We talking rap here. Not how you feel about him. Get out your feelings. Did you like the verse or not? I'm done with Wayne. Did you like, like the like verse I, or not? Like, I, I, you, I, you are that conflicted. I, <laughs> so yeah, you can't I, even I, I say. Really I can't. I can't. I'm done with Wayne, man. I'm done with Wayne. I'm well, with Wayne. for people that don't know, Press, fill them in. Why, why are you done with Wayne? Just the whole little nonsense he was doing the last couple of years and just where I put Lil Wayne at and then what the, the moves that he makes and stuff like this on the regular, just not acknowledging like people around him and the struggles that they go through. It's too self-centered. Don't really have a message in his raps. Uh, and at this point we was talking at, at 40 years old and plus like this dude should be doing a little bit more introspective type stuff. And it's, it's just too much negativity. And it's like, bro, we even got, Damn near 30 years of negativity from Wayne. Like, give, give us something different. Skirt! All right, switching gears. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the Ty Dolla Sign joint and Drake on here, get along better. Now, this Prez in his, I say, 24 to 28 range, does he love this song? Get along better with your best friend? Is this not the most one of the most toxic songs on the entire year? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was like, I found myself liking it a little bit too but much. Love it. Yeah, that's what I was Look. saying. I, I I like it, but you know, can't lean too much into it when somebody else is in the room and they listen yeah. to that. Yo, one, Ty, Ty Dolla Sign <laughs> got away in him and uh, that division album and Ty Dolla Sign. That that's another smoker. That's another. Dope project it has a lot of different layers of toxicity in there, but this this song here, right right on par with it, man, and 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 I'm here for it. Again, I, am I am I singing it to the high heavens when I'm in the whip with the wife? Nah, but when she get out, that should be on full blast for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it be on full blast. That shit fire, man. That shit fire, man. So overall, overall, man, what's your takeaway? From Certified Lover Boy. It's a great album. Like, this is going to get played 10 times more than that Yeezy album for me. Uh, he had the better, uh, he had the songs out there so I can immediately go to the song. So I heard the Young Thug, I heard the uh, <clears throat> the Cuddy right off back, you know what I mean? Those like, like this Cuddy better than I like the Moon on the other one. So, what is uh, I. I am Y two, uh, what's the name of the album? So, all right, name of the song. Yeah, that one. That one. I can pull more tracks away from this one than I can, and vibe to than that Kanye West. So, right off the jump, this one just is just gonna get more play and is a better listen for me. So, how do, how do you feel about the? Um, I know you mentioned uh, God gonna post my bail tonight as being one of the, the crazier lyrics on there, but I didn't hear you say anything about Drake coming out and being a lesbian. How do you, how do you feel about that that line, Chris? <laughs> it's, it's stupid, but you get what he's saying. <laughs> you understand what he's saying, man. Hey. You're, you're, <laughs> I said, whoa, wait we a done heard, minute. I, I, I don't wait I done heard people try to say that in their lifetime. Like that you can't you can't get sense. that one off. Like you ever been yeah. at the club where she where she like, you know, when you were single, I don't I don't like men, I like girls. You know what I mean? 
I've never too. in turn said <laughs> I'm a lesbian too. Yeah. And that, that's never that's, been, that's, never been a flower. I've heard spot. people try to use that before and it didn't work then. And so like it, it it wasn't as shocking when I heard him say it, but I'm just like, yo, that shit's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a fly response at all. No. <laughs> at all. But yo, man, so yeah, that, that's some of the, the bad parts, man. But um, you know, friends, the build up to this whole thing was genius. I strongly believe that these guys are somewhere in the world laughing it up, cigars in hand, cheers. We got their asses. Because everybody in the music world are talking about these two projects. These things are doing crazy numbers. But I want to transition, Prez, because I want to keep it hip hop. But they, but they would have been doing the same numbers regardless. I mean, these two artists are the the top when it comes to their their name just namesake. You ain't yeah. gotta have all the promotion behind it. You see the way like they didn't much release no no uh singles or nothing before these. It was just hey, here go the album. Uh Jake Drake's promotion day before he putting up these billboards in a different city saying the gold is on the album. Houston, your hometown hero is on the album. Like, but not even was giving us the names of who's on there. Like leaving you guessing and stuff. Like when they could do stuff like that and that is the promotion, bro. You 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 you're kind of there already. Like Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but last but not least, man. So we got Tyler the Creator. He came out. I consider him a big dog. Um, J. Cole, we got Yeezy, Drake. Um, I don't want, I think as far as the new the guys, Nas. Nas, as far as the new guys coming up, that is on everybody's radar. West Side Gun, he came out and dropped a smoker that isn't getting talked about as much because rightfully so, these two huge megastars drop, but his project is right there. To me, listening wise, it's been those three since they since they all dropped, as well as sprinkling in that Nas and, you know, keeping keeping it going with the songs and the albums that I actually like from Rick Hyde and some of the ones that we we mentioned before. But I like to, I still listen at the IDK. I like the IDK. I IDK like. came out with one. My man, my man uh, Tuck hit me up about the IDK and I had to tell him I ain't like that one like that. You know what I mean? But he he likes it and I respect his ear as well. So he ain't the only one besides you. It's a few other people. So. I maybe have to go back and revisit that when we get a little bit of a lull here. But what I wanted to move on to is that we got, we got the top guys. They're coming, you know, and, and we still got a few more left. But Kendrick, we ain't get to talk about that Kendrick and Baby Keem single that dropped. He's smoking mm-hmm. on top fives. Do, do we care at, at this point? Like, or is it like Kendrick just dropped the album? You know what I'm saying? Because he came out with the shots, but it was indirect once again. And, and for me, it's like, a lot of people was hitting me up about it and I got to thinking, I was like, yo, either diss these motherfuckers or just drop a dope verse. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's not necessary to me. It's not necessary to me, especially if you ain't going to keep that same type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and that's, that's kind of where I felt with it. So I still want the Kendrick album. We know he's retiring, not retiring, but moving on to do other things probably in his own space or start a label, you know, what, what have you, but are, are we looking forward to that album? You know what I mean? With such a lengthy time off for Kendrick. Man. So like what I'm hoping that's going on and that he does is what I was hoping that we got from big crit. What we got from Lupe is for them to drop with, I, the label head intertwined in the mix and having their say when they're truly released drop music that they enjoy and put out something. And then, you know, expect it to be, you know, universally appraised like throughout. But so far when we get from these artists, when they step away from these labels and what they putting out, I like to see those type of albums get, they get, they just do, you know what I mean? I want to see the true artist vision going through with nobody else. Like in, like mixed in because it's what they complain about the whole time when they're rapping, like the industry kind of got them on hold and don't let them do what they want to do. So when you're actually free, we ain't had nobody come out and just like, just kill it like that. And I would like, I would like for that to change. I would like to see for that to change. You know what I mean? And I want another Avenue 
for us to make money and quit having to go into the industry zones and, you know, continue to make music, have all those other pieces around you. Your art is your artist. You can do it by yourself. You don't need the person just sitting there at your back about creating it. I, you know what I was just thinking about the other day about Kendrick, like as far as who's next and, and who's coming. Uh, I know Wale is coming as well, possibly this year. Rick Ross. I know there was some rumblings. Meek is dropping a lot of joints, but I wanted to stick to Kendrick on this one because that's the next one that Meek, Meek Ross and Wale are big. You know what I'm saying? But like Kendrick is the next super mega star that's coming out. And I was like, man, I wonder if he's going to give us like a very introspective album. Cause we still don't really know K dot like that. You know what I mean? Like he has flashes of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Jay was like that for a while to where he gave us songs here and there. And if you were a super fan, you, you knew what he was talking about when he was getting introspective, but they were like scattered throughout the albums, but it wasn't until later in his career where he started to give us song cries and, and kind of dive in that bag a little bit more. Do you think, well, one, do you think Kendrick already has the personal ones and I'm, I'm just tripping or what, what are you looking <laughs> forward to, you know, with that? Cause to me, I'm like, I don't know if I'm, I'm a big K dot fan, but I'm not the hugest K dot fan. So I don't know if I'm like, missing anything but i just i feel like from what i've absorbed and as much as i've listened to him i still don't have that that shit that shit, that shit that sit in my soul that even though what we do is wrong like i don't it no song cry it's none of those joints that i know he raps very well he's super technically inclined puts together fucking incredible projects but it it's almost like the eminem effect you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't have nothing to latch on to. And that's just where I'm at. I, I hope with his final project on TDE and and with him going off and to do his own thing at some point, I know he won't probably drop again. I just want that from him. A am I tripping? Uh, not when you put it in that way. I don't think you put it in that way last time we talked and we was talking offline about this. You were saying he don't have those. And I was just like, oh, yeah. And I pointed out to several songs, like on section uh, section eighty, uh, the album before that, where he actually like talked about that as well, and he went in there. But it was just a song here and there, and I think even on Damn, where he was sitting there, he was talking about how TDE came about and stuff like this. So he gives some type of introspective, but it's not. I, I get what you're saying, like a whole album or or more more of that. But what do you want? <laughs> if he grown, gives you that man and bars. it don't work, grown man. I just want to say if he bars. gives you that, if he gives you that and it don't sound right with the way he manipulate his voice and all this stuff and plays with the sounds. But he don't. Are you gonna be that. upset? And are you gonna get? I don't. I don't, you I, I don't, I don't particularly care for the manipulating. Like even this smoking on top five. Like rock your album. But like that wasn't. All right, you know what I'm saying? Like that. I'm not shitting on the verse. Got a lot of attention, rightfully so. For me, I wasn't jumping out the window because we, we've we seen this before. He did this with Control, said a bunch of shit, name no names. People came at him, the wrong people, not the people we, we supposedly think he's talking about, and that's my problem. I don't want to have to guess. I, I don't want to have to guess. Like, yo, Drake, talk to, he talked to Yeezy. He talked to Yeezy, he had several bars, and he didn't say his name, but he's had several instances in which he said you knew who he was talking to on that 7 a.m. on Brittle Road. Yeah. That's all I'm asking for in this instance. Like, if you're going to come and say you that motherfucker, then be a little bit more. Don't just throw it out there in the air. But... Again, that, that that's just me going off on my tangent on K dot man. I, I love K dot. I don't want to get it twisted though. Yeah, so I'm I'm still looking forward to the K dot. Uh, who else? Who else was supposed to be dropping before the end of the year? Like we got like, would he be it? Would he be it that we all looking for? As far as a big would dog, a Jay Z, um, would a surprise Jay Z one be good? I don't, Truly, I don't. what I would want, what I would want is just for him to capitalize off that uh the, the shine that he got and you know that uh truly solidify him is like hopefully Jada Kiss is in the lab right now working on something, you know what I mean, and drop it before true, the end of true, the year true. so he can get his proper just due. 
And it got to be right. Like, I just, he's another yeah. one to where you just, you made a point when you was talking about, like, you feel like these these artists at this point can put out whatever they want. You know what I mean? These legacy artists, like, you see Styles P doing it, but Styles P's more of the independent grind, and he he knows where he sits. But it's like Jada just refuses to give us 10 joints, 12 joints of just some dope ass rap shit. You know what I mean? Like he not trying to make a sing songy join or something for the, like that time has passed. You know what I mean? So, but I, I hopefully, hopefully he gets, he locks in with somebody and just does something to satisfy the people that love what he did at the garden. That that's, that's all I'll say about that. Cause that, that was a phenomenal yeah. job he did. Yeah. Yo, press man. Um, so like you said, you, huh? This is what you said. I said that was, that was a long one. Yeah, 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 For yeah. Two albums. That was a long one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But this, this is what we, ex- this is what we do, man. This is what we do, man. We've been waiting for this time to come out and to be able to to talk our talk about these albums and like the other, you know, when other stuff drops, it's it's cool, you know what I mean. But do it deserve 35, 45 minutes worth of breakdown. You ain't put in enough work yet. You ain't put in enough work yet. 35, 45 minutes of a breakdown, man. So, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm loving these albums. Again, you know, Certified Love Boy just came out on Friday. Uh, by the time you guys are hearing this on Tuesday. So, you know, we've had a limited amount of time to listen to it. But I can tell you I've listened to it at least three, four times. Donda, a little bit more than that. And I, uh, Donda, I have listened to two times. And it has been deleted off my off my songs like it's it's, it's out of my catalog i, yep. I, I deleted it it is what it is like and he'll he'll yeah. kick you right on out the door <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slam yeah. the shit like, right on your I ass i get where you're going i applaud <laughs> you uh i applaud you rap bono like uh you, you came with some momentous type uh production and everything but other than that i don't want to hear that bullshit <laughs> fair enough and i'm not trying to get you to like it i'm not trying to get you to like it you know you're gonna feel how you feel but if I know like I know when we do our end of year wrap up in uh, December, if this shit is in your top albums, you know what, pray, you know what, Cash, Iggy, I went back. I went back to it and, and I got to say, oh, this is, that's going to be a whole, you know what? Y'all, y'all How often do I do that, Cash? How y'all, often do I do that? That don't the happen. The last two years. Long. The last two years you walk back some shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Shit, I don't know who you are anymore, man. Shit, you just be do- you just be doing shit now. <laughs> you became a currency fan, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Hey, we we going on and on. This is episode 124. I'm Cash, one half of the Dose Seep on the Couch podcast. Team, it's been a pleasure kicking it with y'all. Uh, we'll be back next week with another episode, man. Prez, you got any final words? Nah, man. Uh, just just catch y'all on the next one. If you like Kanye, hey, whatever you enjoy, what you like. Don't let nobody else sway your opinion. And if you like the 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 Drake, same thing, man. Just just enjoy the music. Both of them, you know, they are musical artists. They put out great stuff. So uh, sometimes people fall out. Uh, you fall out of love with people. Sometimes you fall in love with people. So take it how I go. Mood could change up your whole whole way you realize an album. <laughs>